Find the flux of Earth's magnetic field of magnitude 5 times 10 to the negative 5th Tesla through a square loop of area 20 centimeters squared for the following. A. When the field is perpendicular to the plane of the loop. B. When the field makes a 60 degree angle with the normal to the plane of the loop. And C. When the field makes a 90 degree angle with the normal to the plane of the loop. So what I want to do is I'm going to open up a little uh, working area right here, and I want to draw this loop that they're talking about. And if you imagine that the normal vector is coming straight out of the page. Now, the component of your magnetic field that is parallel to the normal vector is the component that you get for the flux. So if your magnetic field is coming straight, straight out of the page as well, then you get uh, the maximum amount of flux. And so in, in this case we have the, and I'll draw it sideways as well, so this this is my square loop kind of drawn from a side view and if the normal vector is this way you got magnetic f uh, field going through here that is at a uh, it's at a zero degrees with the normal but it's at a 90 degrees with the plane of the loop. So the the angle that we're measuring is with the plane of the loop. So 90 degrees is the normal vector. Then in part two it says 60 degrees to the normal. So here's the normal. This is normal to the plane of the loop and 60 degrees from that is my magnetic field. And so I need to calculate, I've got two components in this. I've got a, a, y ve a, per a vector that's parallel to the loop and I've got a vector that's, uh, that's perpendicular to the loop. And so since this angle uh, right here is the same as this angle right here, my component that's perpendicular is the, is the uh, magnetic field times the cosine of theta. If we wanted to express this in terms of the sine of theta, so th this angle right here would be 90 minus 60 and so you could say that so it's 30 and so if we defined our angle as 30 degrees then it would be B times the sine of theta or the sine of 30 and the cosine of 60 are equal and so because the equation is uh, is the field times the area times the sine of the angle if you're going to use the sine you need to use the angle away from uh, away from the plane and so now that we got our, our angles uh, looked at pretty closely, we're going to go ahead and go back and just uh, write down what the angles are. So on part A, the uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees. On part B, the angle is 30 degrees. And on part C, the angle is 0 degrees. And then we can use our formula uh, that the, the magnetic flux, the magnetic flux is equal to B times A times the sine of theta. And then you just got to plug in and make sure you convert to SI units of meters squared. Meters squared is uh, equal to 10 times the negative fourth of the centimeters squared. And so using the numbers that I have, I get um, 1 times 10 to the negative seventh, and 5 times 10 to the negative eighth, and 0. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the about section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.